Okay. So hmm, my screen is visible, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so today what I'll do, we have created that to-do list, this thing, right? Any name or anything you can add over there. This inspect element, that I'm going to see that in that, when I'm going to inspect any element, right? It's coming from the div. We are not understand from which component we are going to add this thing, create to-do list, what is the component, what is that completed, remove this component. It's only the HTML part in that part, right? We cannot understand. So React, uh, React has provided us some tools. That is that React dev tools. If I will add from the console, so that is your React dev tools. Chrome extension. Okay. So already it's there in my system. So that's why it's showing the remove from Chrome. Or when you first time install that time, add to Chrome, it will show. When you install and your project is React project, so this tool automatically activated. If you just go to the tab and have to add. So now you can see in the provider, right? In the, just open my code. And this is the init.js file. I will I had the provider. So if you see, this is the provider list, right? In the provider. Each and every element you can get, like their children, how many, and inside the provider, parses guest also be there. And then app. This will be wrapped, right? From React Dev Tools, we can understand. If we will add any name. You can see the to-do list item, it is increasing one by one. And also this item, div, also increase, right? Hello. Create. So you can see this value has been added. Along with that, if you have components, this, it also be added. And key is, I have added the mat.random, this key. That's why the randomly value has been generated. So key. You can get the clear picture from the dev tools. If I have any state or props inside that, it will be showing from the provider. It's very helpful to debugging and you can understand that. I, I have added the parses get, right? So persister, how many children are there loading? You can also explore this thing. So this is also one helpful tool, React dev tools. When you using that React project, this component, this provider, that also be evaluated and it also be displayed in your browser. Chrome has also extension. I hope um, Firefox and other browser also be the extension also be there. Just let me check. Yeah, tip tool for Firefox. You have to add ons. Firefox also these add ons. So if different browser, but um, as per the browser logic and the browser extension, this tool will be available. React Dev Tools. That is very important. Now you can get the idea. What is that? From the element, we cannot understand, right? What is my component and which component this thing will be added? But from that react dev tools we can understand the methods everything how many props children everything you can also copy you can 
and, and state also with there. Everything you can evaluate. Now, when I adding the Redux in my system, that means Redux, we also have to understand how the Redux works from the dashboard, this kind of tools, right? So same thing, we have Redux Dev tools, like React Dev tools, that is your Redux Dev tool. Okay. Redux Dev tools. Okay. So it's already added from my system. You, you can first time install, then it will show the add from Chrome. Then we, what we will do, I this dev tools you have, but it will be showing means if I will go here and you can see the React dev tools, right? Open in panel. Nothing will be showing, right? Dev tools is there, code is there, but we have to sync this thing with my code, dev tools code. It's not, you can say action, state, everything is empty. What I'll do, I'll create I will just add some code or logics in my code base. So that will interact for the dev tools. So local host and dev tools will be interacted. Okay, any questions? Or... We have left only this place and then on that place I will add window <coughs> dot underscore underscore redux dev tools extension uh, dev tools extension this one on this one and then you have to copy copy it Listen. One. Eleven. Run. npm run dev you can have to restart your environment the port is running i think one minute that is Okay, I'll go and you know, these to do's and these values, right? I have three to do's that is there to so react this for Redux, okay. Only Redux kind of things you can get the data from here, or you can get the chart for the state. Okay. 
and if I will create other to do so like. You can see the create to do this element is created. You can go with the tree view, right? Or to the chart view. So currently, we have four to do. Remove, remove to do. You can see every action one list is created. <clears throat> also, you can get uh, the parsist method, the parsing. This is the action currently. If we go to the state, differentiate these values, you can get earlier what is by Turuz was there and this value. Uh, for every JavaScript events, uh, this uh, new will be created right new suppose uh, there is a two buttons completed and uh, create food and remove food remove to uh, do yes if i will remove it now you can uh, just observe uh, only one create to do other remove to do right now i will remove it you can see other remove to do action is there now okay so what was the their type payload you can understand from there and you can also get the chart value from where the to do's are creating and from where the type has been created for the to do's okay okay so it's the redux tools means you can get the redux kind of um, information from there okay if you play it you can see whatever is there written it will performing i am not writing anything just play now I'll what I will do, I will create one name. It will create to do and then we'll play it. You can see. Whatever actions you have taken, and if you run this button, okay. everything will be played. Okay, as per the order. The order is there and on in the order it will be played. Okay. So this is the Redux Dev Tools. You just have to add a window Redux Dev Tool extension and also the Dev extension. Okay. Now, what I'll do? The some conditions I have to add the to do list item dot js. Like button on click. I create one I have to create one action and reduce it. one example other uh, to do I will create so that is your to do list item and some condition I will add uh, uh, the button To do dot is completed Or this hello applied. Yeah. 
this is the condition I'll go to action I'll create Mark to do and completed equal to mark to do as complete. Export on work to do completed is equal to text at value and type this is my to do and comma payload and paste go to the reducer In case mark to do completed on text is equal to payload return. It dot map to do in this value if my to do dot text is text is equal to equal to text have to return. To do is completed. It's completed. That is true. To return your to do. To list the chest okay, it's completed. So you have to just create one dispatch on completed text that will be your text value dispatch is completed I need to pass the text. Complicated. You have to just pass this thing. 
on completed equal to on completed this value you have to pass so this is your box Go to the to do list item dot chase again and what's the prop value? Click. to dot text We'll go this one up to remove everything with. That one, the to do is completed. Why to do it? Is no button is there. If we we'll click getting in to complete it, it will show. Any question on that part? Now that is, uh, um, then we are going to Redux Thunk. One concept is there. If you are using that API call or you are update your server data, that time Redux, whatever we do, that is I will pass my data from action to my reducer and reducer will update the sentence to right. But Redux Thunk, that will, if you are fetching or updating any server data, that time, Redux thang is working as an intermediary part. So in that case, what we'll do, if your that is your state management, it, it, it's your state obviously is there, and that is your component. From the component, you can send your logic on different different component. Right? This is my component component, and here if we are using the redux thunk concept so whatever the value we are getting from the server it will delegate to the action and then it will pass to the server so server requires some data and requires some time to update the state so that time we have to manage our state through the redux thunk that uh, will share with you or not one minute Mm, yeah so this is why you can uh, other libraries also you can use redux thang uh, redux haga redux logic any, anything you can add for that purpose basically but basic so uh, basically we are using that redux thang concept it's uh, called a side effect library somehow so you can going to install and think that how the redux thang will work so first we have to uh, 
install this thing, but Redux Saga is much popular than Redux Thunk if you are comparing. But Redux Thunk logic means your syntax and the kind of thing, uh, it's very simple. So that I am going to show you that Redux Thunk how we can provide in our demo. Okay. And uh, one minute. Yes. This concept. And the chart and the what is the data is there? Like you have some trigger action, right? This is my UI trigger. When I'm going to trigger my component, the state will be updated, right? This state. So this will be updated. And the state will be updated. And we can also load the data. And then after loading the data, state will be updated. Component will also be updated. So component, it has some store, reducer, some action point is there. You have to dispatch your action point and from that Redux store, right? And you have to fetch the data. I'll show you one uh, that diagram I have. Just give me one minute. Just a minute, I'll save my screen. Then it will be easier to understand. Oh, my skin is with you. Yes, sir. Uh, so, so you can see that uh, from this diagram, we earlier discussed this thing, right? So this is the dispatch action. We have required some type and payload. Now, in that place, when we dispatch the action to reducer, Redux thang will taking place. So in the data, we have to API call is there. You can see. So it is the middleware. Redux, then it will pass the data to reducer. Reducer will update the central store and your view will be getting the data, right? This is the typical structure of Redux now. Your central store will be there. Same thing means if you compare two pictures, only X, the Redux thunk is coming between them without api call in server data we can pass directly reducer but if a server data this kind of thing then you have to install that redux thunk then the intermediary work will be done so if you have data you put action point you have to create some action creator through thunk and it will pass the data this reducer will be updated through the central store and central store to component. Only this point we have to add. So we have to install. This is the comment. npm install Redux thunk. Redux tape tools. Insurance at the rate of Babel runtime 
and you have to add it redux thou it will save some time to wait redux thou you babel and redux thou package is getting installed you can see this is the version right on package that also be installed in pm install save dev create of table login transformer plugin transform babel plugin transform runtime 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 yes. that is also required mm -hmm. so, it is coming in the deep dependency because i am adding that Save dev. So this is the development dependencies, right? So here is install the package. Go to your Babel file. You have to configure. plugins editor babel what will write plugins transformer babel plugin transform Runtime. That you have to mention because we have added these plugins, right? Transform plugin. Go to the store.js and import your thunk. Redux thunk. And that is the Hung from the redux the redux thousand th right. Also required apply middleware. Because Redux thing is a middleware tool, and also some dev tools kind of things you have to import. That is composite dev tools from Redux dev tools extension. So then. I will create one thunk, okay, and the thunk file I will add it. What we will do instead of this extension because thunk, thunk will be introduced currently, no need to add this thing. We will do composite with dev tools. And here I apply the middleware 
and I place thunk. It will be automatically sync with my Redux dev tools. I will create one thunk file. Okay. And we'll go to your to do. Create one thunks.js. You can create separate folder also, not an issue. These things also thunk, X and reducer, whatever you can create. Input react also export on display alert. Just going to test this thunk is coming or not. Go to your to do list dot js. Import your display alert on thumb. Just pass this thing on display alert. Clicked. That is my map state to plus function, right? You just go and pass your display alert. You know, to dispatch. Your display alert without dispatch, it will not go to the view. This area, right? Component as usual, copy, comma, paste. Okay, sorry. This is my props, right? Here to pass it. Just pass on display alert. Clicked this value is equal to And I just think one thing on this planet. Just you can have to run table and go there.
just one alert pop up will coming in that event handler i will just pass this thunk on display alert click when i click this file and if it will okay then hello this will be showing it listed yes Now in completed, the alert should come. So something is problem, one minute. Did you have dispatched this fellow? Earlier one completed place was there. It is working there for a minute. Mm, it's working, but This
on display not Where is the promo? Uh, Okay, okay. If it becomes a function, right? Now I think it will come. Yes. That is the function, and I just uh, forget to add this thing. Now we'll pass the text instead of function here. Text and pass the text here. T E X T. Click. Let's say hello, right? Earlier value is coming, so we have to need it. I just add as it is for checking that my uh, the path is created and now we'll create one API to do API. This thunk is created from this file, right? And then for the to do API, Yeah. 
go to the tongue juice and load to which it is async. To provide dispatch and get state to params. Return. We have to call her. One action look in progress. Let's go to your cons. Load to do in progress. I And also export on load to do success. Load to do success and create. Also, we have to export. Copy it. Yes, I wrote to do. Success. 
and the pilot Another action will create const load whose failure. Is equal to this text load cause failure. Copy the to do export const load to failure. Equal to this value type load to filler comma load go to the thumbjet and the pre input. Import load to do progress. These three things in the action load to do in progress. And paste load to do in success. And load to do failure. Dot action, I think. Actions. Yes. Here I have to put the logic for load in progress and this instead of reducer now. Dispatch load to do in progress. And your const that will response. Have it. H the required one HTTP URL, right? HTTP local host H zero H zero following text and with to do. const to do is equal to await response dot json have to dispatch same thing load to do success to pass your to do's word here you have to record some progress first like dispatch no to do's progress okay progress is there i will just create one try 
Sketch Block Artist Control the catch. Patch and look to the failure. This patch is a alert. Any for if any success or any error. Not success in the error. We have to pass the text. Here you have to pass the text. Go to your thousand edges. Go to your reducer. This URL I have to create. Okay, this is not actually I don't have, I have to create this thing. But logic we have to write here. Okay. Load to do in progress. So I have just do one thing separately. Edit. Load to do, load to do progress. Yeah, to the progress. Load to success. And load to do failure. Have to input this three uh, thing from the action. Um, we need to create some logic in the case statement with this progress, success, and failure. Const is loading is equal to state is equal to false action that is your it's loading function on type is equal to action will create on switch case for the action that will be the type this type will create one case that will be my load to do in progress and return to other case load to do in access other cases load to do in failure it will be the return false and default Return state. Okay, this is a loading concept. If the loading is there, we have to add. And 
go to your store.js input is loading so is loading is there so is loading up to it the reducer have to pass this okay any question on that part hello <coughs> Hello, Amarnath, or any other, any questions on that part? Hello, hello, Pusinji. hello, Sumon. Hello. Hi, ah, yes. So, uh, you understood right, this thing? This part? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, or any other questions? Uh, so, I'll uh, some from next day. There's to do jail. Oh, that this uh, local host age the studios I have to create okay this thing I'll show you in the next day and okay. also also uh, this next week will be the last okay mm, and the old, after that your assessment will be starting on that basis okay. assessment means from POCs and also your metal test Redux, Redux thunk is completed. Also, uh, then only unit testing part will be there. That I will show you. Next two or three days is required. Is there any question on that part? Amarnath, Pusanjit, or anyone? Hello, Pusanjit. 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 Hello, Okay. Hmm, okay. What uh, type of question there actually? No, no, it's a MCQ type of question they will provide. From the okay. metal test, you have to provide the MCQ type of question, okay? okay and okay. then you have to earn score seventy five percent plus marks for getting the certificate from learning met. Learning met will provide one certificate, reactor training certification, okay. You will pass the metal test then only and okay. also one poc also be completed then you get the certificate yeah, one thing actually Kosik, uh i have yes. uh, create store actually deprecated that is actually show deprecated and yeah. they are um, yeah, yes though that is because you have to get your redux toolkit instead of Store, you can use the Redux JS toolkit. Okay. Okay. So, so Redux JS, just, just a minute, I'm sharing my screen once again. Yes. You can see that we recommended using the configure store method of the Redux JS toolkit. So, yes, yes, yes. Instead of that, you have to import this Redux JS toolkit. Okay. In the Redux JS toolkit package, you have to add in with replace of the means instead of PS store configure store, you can use. Okay, but uh, that settings are different or uh, everything that is setting, that setting is the Redux instead of Re Redux toolkit is what it's a predefined one package. Okay, means you you have to just install these things inside the Redux JS toolkit, everything you will get. Your store, your Redux reducer, everything package you will get. But earlier it is used Redux create store. This method. Yes, yes, but uh, that is actually recommended uh, because uh, this is actually recommended. We recommended configure store. 
that means uh, so recommended using the configure store method of the re, i am not using that redux js toolkit in the in my project whatever i am showing na yes 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 i not using because this is a separate configuration we have to do it hmm okay. for the redux js toolkit is separate configuration this, this is i think the latest no means yeah, yes so okay. I, just i'll go uh, with this create story you can see that but it's working uh, but recommended is that whatever you will get in this one figure store to redux just to look at these things okay so then i have to configure the total thing is differently means from the redux to js toolkit i have to add and then for earlier it creates to will be using and you can get mobi x for your response for state management purpose no mobix something in the redux has been used right mm -hmm. so say things are different we have to understood the concept first right this thing yes yes so you have doing if you are you are in that project you are using the react and you are experience and then you have understood this thing right but those are taking that this is this is the cross training okay so we have to understood this flow and architecture first right yes yes reducer. Uh, so yes. what is the reducer action so i'm going to simple demo there and step by step otherwise what i will do i have the code and i will just paste it and i will run that comment so you cannot understood those are taking the demo uh, those are taking the course they are from the different background right mm -hmm, so the right. different background people if i will write the css or sas you understood but others cannot understood na that we have to we have to work on that what is my target audience right those are yes. taking they are they are from php background dot net background we no need to in, introduce on their store and uh, about their store method what is the advanced concept first understood how to first you have to work right then you can run so if i am not working then how can i run right so you yes, have right. to know this concept and yes, the next is when, when when i will demo for for the reader for the our in, internal mad group team right then the advanced setting will be provided because you are habituated right this thing mm -hmm. but they are they have to know right i will write the thunk and anything in very complex logic but they cannot understand this also some complex if you will write one by one code this is also some complex logic in front of the yes. demo yes yes okay that's the reason first of all understood the logic and how we can uh, understood because redux they will implement in their project definitely uh, the mad help they will require but at least from my demo they can understand what is redux right they can understand the redux flow they can understand the react this everything i have covered in my past 12 or 13 days code whatever i've given so that's step by step introduction step this is a cross training na they are yes. from the dot net from our php they don't know about the store and these things so that's why small small code I, codes i'm writing i'm adding so they can understand okay yes yes right right create story you understood is deprecated i also know because it's try strike through us there right so redux yes. js toolkit we have to improvise and that concept is different might be they cannot understood this concept in that part in compare in comparing to the because it's every it's a package where everything is available redux js toolkit mobex you can get it you no need to write some codes yeah. mm -hmm. right so this is some uh, scratch coding i am i i can reduce the code with two or three lines also but that is not the recommended if they can understand they can introduce the redux and react in their project that is the success of the demo right hmm. so we are also working the same thing 24 into 7 hours this thing we are working we have the updates that's the reason okay 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 ठीक है तो मंडे आई एंड आई थिंक दिस वीक नेक्स्ट वीक मीन दिस वीक इज ऑलरेडी डन तो नेक्स्ट वीक 
some unit testing i will show you and if time permit because you all know that react are very vast tools means their uh, syllabus is very high right means very yeah, mm -hmm. we need some so time many, for so many things are there it's not yes. even like typescript you have to uh, adding differently you have yes. to adding some means, redux thunk redux everything is there unit testing is different part yeah, so many things are there na? so if time permits or things so i'll definitely stretch this or one I means this uh, next week obviously three or four days we are going to complete that thing or other basic concept like that graph ql how can i add if they will allow the lnd then i'll definitely show you LND. Okay. Okay. Another thing is that uh, yeah. uh, uh, just uh, yeah. asking yeah. uh, when we are using TypeScript in class based component, uh -huh. there are even uh, we are using uh, interface, okay. But mm -hmm. when uh, suppose we are using a function based component, then mm -hmm. we are not using interface. So, how to use that type component? Of... What? Or may, or can you please repeat the question? So, once again when we are using uh in uh, class based component that uh, that time in typescript base okay mm -hmm. in typescript uh and class based con component we are using interface okay hello you can tell tell not any mm -hmm. hard, hard. we are using interface hmm. but uh in functional based component uh, uh, that type of something there one cheat sheet in your uh, group you can check it everything is dimension if you are using your functional component na? <laughs> so you have to define your type not interface okay type okay. type <laughs> type in the type you have to add and then your props type you have to because data type we have to check na? it's a yes, yes, string yes. it's a data it's a boolean then declaring types of props in your system when in your code wherever the function component is there we use instead of interface yes yes means individually we can uh, actually we can do this thing uh, yes also the also one thing is there like you have to check your props validator prop validate method also be there right so if your function component like you are using like you are using html element na? suppose mm -hmm. one html mm -hmm. element is there so add i write here as html element so that can be if you are using jsx so you have to define the type jsx dot element TypeScript main motto is that define the proper type. If you are yes. using function, right. if you are function in normal JavaScript, we are no need to add any void return type, right? But mm. in TypeScript, we have to define the return type. Yes. So yes. If you you have to create type, na? I also shown in that TypeScript system means one uh, you attend TypeScript session. Yes, yes, yes. I so I I showing that class based component and installing these things, right? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I and also because in our projects, all it's a in the, means on the CCF project, all are class based component. But now the trend is totally different. Yes, people the, are using component that is functional component. Yes, and, and also functional uh, component they are using hooks. That's why React is much popular currently. Yes, so after right. sixteen point eight, hooks are introduced. That's the reason because class based component, everything will not be possible to uh, means you have to control everything that is uncontrolled, right? Mm -hmm. You require some control component. So function component is very handy. Everybody can understand. Everybody can control their flow. But if you don't know the oops concept very like uh, deeply in that like uh, that. Uh, polymorphism, encapsulation, so many methods are there. Right? Mm -hmm. So you cannot handle your because life cycles are introduced in the class. Yes. So that's the reason function component, you no need to do this kind of thing. Yes.
and now the, in learning mate we are using all class based component most of the project i saw that but it's a okay. legacy but okay. if you are using the functional component that can be trained is functional component people people are using mostly and okay. you have to know the class based component and functional component different what is the comp uh, difference in the class based component and functional component suppose you have 30 component one project then you have to take the decision which component i will go to function component which component i will go to class based component how will decide tell me you have given one 30 component and then you have to take decision from the technical lead perspective which component i'll set in the function which component I'll set to the class Step. Function and component have a more advantage because uh, no no like, I, mm. I understand but some components you have to find out and some, some component you have to say to the function some component you have to choose in the class based component how you can do that okay this is actually I don't know how to have you have you analyzed this thing because you, as a technical point of view or technical lead, uh, point of view, you have to take the decision, right? Where the yes. state state full component, what is the state less component I will use? Yes, yes, yes. So basically, if in the project, some hmm. components are I mean, I, uh, as my experience that is some some component i'm calling deep and dumb component like text you have written some hard coded text like footer hmm. you have introduced footer hmm. so footer mein jada kuch nahi on the links right hai na? some links hmm. Hmm. so it does not require any state data management kind of thing earlier state component mein kya hota hai? if if your data is there if you deal with the massive data or API or data mm -hmm. data flow, then you are going to into before introducing the Redux hook, uh, Redux hooks, okay, React hooks. Then state component we are using for the state component. But if using the normal text, if you are using hard coded text, you just want to show in the component. Then which component will take state or function? State component by default constructor will be loaded. Component did mount will be loaded by default. Na? This mm -hmm. state, whenever you introduce mm -hmm. class, it will be loaded. So it will heavy. Yes. We no need to introduce the class every component. If I render only small text, there is no calculation, there is no API calling, nothing will be there. This component simply go to the function component. Okay. okay. Suppose you have some sections, um, data. Or also in the functional component, if you introduce hooks, after the hooks, people are adding the functional component. But class-based component, may by default, both the method load. Hmm. The class component, functional component is a function. There is by default, jada method nahi add hoga na usme. But ab introduce karenge, to bhi add hoga. The hmm. Class hmm. extend karta react dot component se. Automatically react ka core package ka jitna dependency hota hai, load karne ke time wo load hoga. If you are not calling, then not call. But loading jo hota hai na, pre bootstrapping mm -hmm. jisko bolte hai, pre warming. A component load hone ke pehle pre warm method rahe hai kuch. Ab agar uh, matlab ye concept har ek jagah mein agar cloud mein bhi kam karte ho, ba normal is. जैसे constructor को load 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 करते हैं ना तो constructor का तो code होता है पीछे हाँ वो तो parent वाला को call करता है हाँ तो parent वाला का जो super को call करते हैं ना react dot component को call करते हैं ना react dot component लिखते हैं तो by default उसके कुछ method रहता है ना हम्म 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 तो load होगा उसके साथ इनपे नहीं हम्म हम्म तो इसलिए function based components based है इसलिए फंक्शन कंपोनेंट अभी पॉपुलर इसलिए हो गया है क्योंकि उसमें हुक्स आ गया है हां पहले वो हुक्स नहीं था 16.8 के पहले हम्म हम्म हुक्स इंट्रोड्यूस 
है तो आप तो देखोगे वेबसाइट में लिखा है सिक्सटीन पॉइंट इसके पहले नहीं था ठीक तो अभी मेरा अगर कुछ ये है क्लास बेस कंपोनेंट है एंड फंक्शनल कंपोनेंट है तो एज पर द बिजनेस लॉजिक एंड एज पर द योर डेटा यू हैव टू डिसाइड राइट व्हेन यू यूज क्लास कंपोनेंट एंड फंक्शन कंपोनेंट दिस टाइम दैट पार फॉर परफॉर्मेंस इज आल्सो बी देयर ना इन द क्लास बेस कंपोनेंट क्लास कंपोनेंट में आपका परफॉर्मेंस इशू भी रहता है ना चाहिए। तो इम्प्लीमेंट पूरा उल्टा होता है यू आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग समथिंग इन योर कोड इन योर क्लास एक्सटेंड मीन योर क्लास विल बी एक्सटेंड on the react.com so difference between implement and extend ab likhte ho two keywords right extends hmm. and implements hmm. angular mein log likhta hai implements on g on on ng on in it comma on ng destroy hmm. that will not extend that is implemented hmm. something is there you can just go import and implement inheritance process and inheritance process just implement that extend means you have to Access this your code, your class, React component, correct? Hmm. So by default, सब कुछ load होता है उसके अंदर. हाँ, in inheritance process में वो पूरा parent को पकड़ के by default सब. हाँ, तो आपका अगर आप binary search का जो concept होता है, जो data structure algorithm में क्या है वो binary structure का ये. तो उसमें भी आप आपका node base है ना सब कुछ tree structure. Hmm. Everything is node base, right? Hmm. तो आप नोट के नोट स्टैक जो होता है नोट को आप मान लो मेरा ऊपर का नोट से मैं नीचे का नोट को कैलकुलेट करूंगा तो आपको ऐसा करके कोड को लिखना पड़ेगा जैसे आपका मतलब क्या होता है जितना भी नोट्स है नोट्स का काउंट वो सेंट्रल नोट से कम हो राइट तब जाके आपको वैल्यू मिलेगा नोट का टी स्टैक का आप एड करते जा रहे हो एड करते जा रहे हो नोट तो उसको तो फॉर लूप में आप घुमाओगे तो बहुत सारा नोट बन जाएगा ना तो आपका कॉल स्टैक मेथड पूरा भर्ती हो जाएगा मतलब फुल हो जाएगा परफॉर्मेंस इशू आ जाएगा कॉल स्टैक में तो परफॉर्मेंस के लिए जैसे एपीआई कॉल होता है आप आप लोग ये जो तो सिंगल थ्रेड है नोड एंड एंगुलर एंड रिएक्ट मल्टी थ्रेड मल्टी थ्रेड तो नहीं है सिं, सिं, सिंगल थ्रेड एप्लीकेशन है राइट एक ही थ्रेड में आप सब कुछ ऐड करते हो ना व्यू वगैरह सब कुछ ऐड करते हो एक ही थ्रेड के अंदर तो आपको एपीआई को अलग करना पड़ेगा ये अलग करना पड़ेगा कॉल तब जाके वो फास्ट होगा ना आप इसमें एपीआई कैसे अलग करोगे बोलो एंगुलर के प्रोजेक्ट में बड़ी एक्ट के प्रोजेक्ट में कैसे एपीआई ऐड करोगे अलग एपीपीआई कॉल हर एक ओसो कोड में लिखते है लोग लोग राइट चलिए So many things are there. आप अगर वेब सॉकेट का कॉन्सेप्ट है वेब सॉकेट से भी आप कॉल कर सकते हो एपीआई राइट टर्न टर्नल बेस कॉन्सेप्ट होता है वो इन्हीं सो मेनी थिंग्स मींस ओनली बेस्ड ऑन योर योर परफॉर्मेंस अगर रिएक्ट का परफॉर्मेंस अच्छा करना है तो आपको स्ट्रक्चर से लेके एपीआई कॉलिंग तक पूरा ऑप्टिमाइज्ड करना पड़ेगा ना चीज को परफॉर्मेंस इशू करने सेव करने के लिए ठीक है ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू भाई थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू भाई बाय Thank you.